There's about to be a significant test of Colorado's police reforms. Two years ago, Coloradans gained the right to sue officers personally for misconduct on the job. The new case does not come out of the most scrutinized police departments in the state, like Denver or Aurora. It comes from Sterling, out in far northeast Colorado. That's where a man was hogtied and put face down in a patrol car in an incident that happened not long after the law was passed. Just a heads up, Steve Sager's report includes body camera video of what happened. I was shocked. Attorney James Roberts is talking about this video, now two years old. It's October 9th, 2020 in Sterling. Officers are here responding to a neighbor's call about hearing loud voices next door. They're standing on Chris Weitzel's porch. There was a knock at the door and uh, my wife ended up answering it. What's going on? Just an argument. Weitzel comes to the door. What's up, man? Come out here and talk to me, man. No, I'm cool. No, come out here and talk to me. I'm cool. Okay, then come out here and talk to me. Come out here and talk to me, dude. Hey, do don't do touch not me. pull away from me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Do not. In a matter of 10 seconds, Sterling Officer Paul McDaniel has his hands on Weitzel and takes him to the ground. Sterling Officer Matt Williams and Logan County Deputy Alton McGuffin hold him down. I just remember getting thrown to the ground and... Um, you know, feeling a, a strong pain in my ribs, and it just happened all so fast. You know, uh, you know. Next thing I knew, I was I was hog tied. Stop! What are you doing, dude? Hog tied. It's a method of restraint where someone's hands are cuffed, legs are bound, and the hands and legs are tied together. I didn't know what to think at the time. I was just in shock. The officers in the video keep Whitesel hog tied on his stomach for a total of 16 minutes, both on the ground. <laughs> and in the back of a squad car, something the Department of Justice warned not to do in a bulletin dating back to 1995. I felt violated. In the end, Weitzel wasn't charged with any crime for domestic violence, the reason police were called in the first place. He was charged with obstructing a peace officer, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct. All charges dropped by prosecutors, and now he's taking the officers to court. Christian was simply standing in his doorway, um, responding to the officer, giving no indication he was going to flee or use violence of any kind. I don't think it's right. What you you know, people have rights. The officer who hogtied Weitzel no longer works as a police officer in Colorado, according to the state database. The chief of police in Sterling told me tonight that they take any allegations of misconduct seriously and a use of force review was conducted in this case, but he hasn't said what the result of that was. McDaniel left the Sterling Police Department back in February of 2021, so just a few months after this happened. It's unclear. Uh, we're working to get some disciplinary records just to see if anything happened after yeah. this case. The fact that he could sue the officers individually makes the grounds of the lawsuit easier. Yeah, part of this law, because you think about, you would have to prove, if it was a police department, that there were patterns and practices of this happening before if you sue the whole department. He, yeah, you'd have to show that it was part of training. But in this case, you can actually charge or you can actually sue the police officers and kind of go after them in civil court in a separate way. We know you'll follow it. Start yeah. to finish. Thank you, Absolutely. Steve. Appreciate it.